Let's create another project using arrays in C Sharp. And I'll create a file, new project. It'll be a console application. Call it whatever you want. And what I want, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and just create an array. And uh, I'll do that by saying string, square bracket, and then we'll call it AS names. And let's go ahead and give it a size. So I'll say the word new, string, and we'll say there's um, four elements or four mailboxes. I call them mailboxes, but elements in that array. Let's go ahead and load them up. Remember it's zero base, so we say AS name zero is equal to Mickey. And AS names one is equal to Mini. And AS names two, notice that that's the third element in the array, but, but it's position or element number two, subscript two, is equal to Donald. And the last one we'll say is Goofy. I've now loaded up four elements of that array, positions one, two, zero, one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and create another array. And let's say int square bracket AI age equals new int. And we'll make that four long. But you know what? I don't really want to put the number four. Instead, I'll say AS names length. Now I know that that array is going to be the same length as the array above it. And then I can go ahead and load up that array also by saying AI age square bracket zero is equal to 50 and AI age square bracket 1 is equal to 49 AI age square bracket 2 is equal to 32 and AI age square bracket 3 is equal to 20. What I've now done is set up one array that has a bunch of strings in it and another array that has a bunch of ints and whatever is in position here Mickey will correspond to this position, which is 50. You're going to have to keep track of that in your code. But it is a way I can make more than one array and load up the values. Now let's go say we need to find the oldest value in that program. How would I do that? Well, I'd need a for loop. So I could say for I count, better declare it first, int I count is equal to 0. And as long as I count is less than the length of the array, we'll say AI age dot length. I want to go ahead and stay in this loop and I'll increment I count. So now what we want to do is process through each element of the array and try to find out who's biggest. So let's go ahead and type in if the value in the position of the array, so let's say AI age square bracket. I count if that value is greater than and we need some value we had up there which is the I max value if we know that what we're looking at is greater than negative one then let's go ahead and store that position so I need another variable int we'll call it I pause equals negative one to start with and we're starting at negative one because if we started it at zero and we didn't find anything, then we would think that we're the first position of the array because arrays start at zero. So we want to say negative one. So we'll say I pause is equal to I count. That now holds off which position of the array has the max value. So let's see if this actually works. I'm going to go ahead and put a console.read line here to pause it as we run the program. And then what I want to do is I'm going to set a breakpoint on line 28 and use the debugger. If you don't know what the debugger is, go back and look for the videos that I made on the debugger in Visual Studio C Sharp. Now that I have a breakpoint set, I want to come up here and I'll run the program. And it drops into this loop and it says, we'll click on this little arrow or press F10. Is I count less than the length? Yes, it is. Okay, so what is the value? in position zero of that array, 50. Is 50 greater than negative one? Yes, it is. So we are now storing off position zero as being the largest position, or in other words, what position in the array has the largest value? We're saying position zero 
has the largest value. Let's increment I count. Are we still less than the length? Yes, we drop into here. Now we check to see if whatever is in position one is greater than I max value. Now the problem we have is that we didn't update I max value. It still thinks it's negative one. So we need to come back here to our program and after we store the position, we have to say what the new max value is. And I max value is equal to AI age, whatever is in the position we just looked at, which was I count. So the first time through, it should be 50. Let's try it one more time. We have our break point. We drop into our break or into our for loop. First value, we say, yeah, 50, whatever is in position zero of the array which you can just click on the array and you could um, look at all the elements in it, 50, 49, 32. Do you see how you can click on the little arrow there? So we are going ahead and storing off position zero of the array and the value, I max value, should now be 50. Come back in the loop, increment, drop into it. We now look at the next element, which is going to be a 49. We say is 49 greater than 50? No, it's not. So we still know that position zero has the largest amount. Go to the next one. Is the next value of the array, which is in 30, uh, which is 32 in position two, which is the third element of your array. Make sure you understand that. Position two is the third element of the array. Is 32 greater than the max value of 50? No, it's not. Increment, drop down in. Is the fourth element, position 3, 20 greater than 50. No, it's not. So when we're all done, we know that I pause says position 0 of the array has the largest value, and the largest value is 50. Let's go ahead and stop that. I'm going to take off the breakpoint by just clicking on the circle. And now what we want to do is let's just print off the largest value. So let's go ahead and do a console write line. And we'll say the largest age, or oldest age, is, and we'll say AI age, square bracket, I pause, because you remember, I pause held what position it was. And let's go ahead and add on in position. We'll print off the position. And while we're there, let's print off who it was. Well, how do we do that? Well, we know whatever position it is. And we'll say the person who is oldest is AIAS names, square bracket. And we'll go ahead and use IPAUSE again, but we need to go back and add our concatenation symbol. And then we'll wait for a keystroke. That should be a square bracket. So now what happens is we already saw that this will find the largest value and store what position of the array held the largest value. And then we can go print off whatever value we did find. Remember, I pause had whatever position had the oldest value. And then we can access the array using that same position to get the name. Let's run it and see if it, we print off Mickey and Finn and 50. The largest age is 50 in position 0. The person who is oldest is Mickey. And that's how you could actually sort an array and try to find largest values.